All right. Welcome back to Black Lodge Trivia Night, doing some Lord of the Rings online book quests. We're up to Volume 1, Book 10, The City of Kings, which takes us back to the ruins of the Numenos. Well, it takes us back. I think it's the first time really in the ruins. Uh, we've done things in Evendim, but we have not really had to delve into the ruins themselves, so we ended last session sort of making our way into the ruins, doing a couple things to get started. And uh, yeah, so basically we're at like a forward post against the the brigands and the evil forces, the Angmarim or whatever that have sort of found their way into the ruins. Let's see how long I can go tonight. I recorded something earlier today and it sort of left my voice a little shot. I, I probably said this before. My voice goes really quickly. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Um, book 10, chapter 3, the Battle for Anumanas. Uh, Gwonil is on the docks at the port of Anumanas, north of Chad Garthandir. Torchirian is Torchirian is at Adenon, a small gate in the city wall west of the docks that provides access to the western shore of Lake Nenuyal. Angmarum archers lie in wait throughout the city, often in hiding. So I think that's what we sort of have to do is we have to talk to two people and uh, take out some archers on the way. So let's get started. I think. If you look at the map, the yellow is where the archers are, and then we just have to make our way, I guess, to these rings. I don't know why there's four, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, so we'll start heading west, and then maybe loop around. I guess, if that's possible. Okay, so you can see we're sort of, by the color of the enemies, we're pretty well past these folks on levels. Which is weird because the quest itself is red. All right, let's wrap this up. Okay, so you can see now it's just cleared everything but the rings. I guess those two over to the right don't mean anything anymore, but we'll figure that out. That was probably stupid. I feel like they're guarding the wrong direction, but 
Let's talk to him. The shadow must fall. The gate of Adenon is still defended, Black Lodge, but I thank you for coming to see me. It has been some time since the last assault on the gate, and it is good to break up the boredom with a new face. The city will not long be in Engmarim hands, if you ask me. Okay. So I was running a game of the One Ring 2nd Edition recently, and our story is also taking place in Fallen and Numenos, and I didn't know how accurately, I, how much I could rely on this depiction of a Numenos to match up with what people who don't play this game, but who are huge token lore fan, Tolkien lore fans, what they would think of... Uh, what they would think of depictions I used if it kind of came from here. You know how I visualize it. You know, part of the story was them, you know, going into the ruins in the lake. I didn't know if it was something like that tower overhead, which is like a tower in the middle of the lake, or if it was, you know, is that an accurate depiction of what was in the text? I usually assume so, given this game's reputation, what I've experienced of it myself, but, but I wasn't sure. Uh, I, I thought the session went well, and everybody loves being in Anuminas, and there was supposed to be a quest that took them out of Anuminas, and they sort of took a different path to stay here, so we'll see how that goes. Faneleg worries too much. I have everything in hand here. Despite repeated Angmarum attacks on my position, I have not yet faced a force that was too great for me to handle. You expected something different? Okay. Now this is red, which means, a uh, blue, which means I think it's being held by the forces of good. Again, I was saying last time, I thought there used to be a whole bunch of those markers on the map, and it was more of a push and pull, more of a dynamic event of what parts of the city were falling and where you'd have to go support the NPCs, but I guess maybe that's all gone. Still getting over cold a little bit, but yeah, I think my throat is just partly shot from. From recording earlier, earlier I recorded a uh, Bookhouse Boys for the channel. Um, our attempts to record last week totally fell apart at the last second. So. Uh, so yeah, we'll have something up this week, but it's um. Not what we were expecting. I'm going to pop this guy here. Just make that path a little easier. You have my thanks, friend, and those of Gwolnil and Torchirion as well. I am sure, despite their insistence that everything is under control, but now there is more work to be done. For the moment, our defense of Anuminas holds true. We need now to form a plan of attack. Oh, whoops. 
Uh, vitality, 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 or a... I'm gonna take the necklace because it's worth more. How can I be of service? What I take a moment of your time. I think we've earned a small reprieve through your efforts, Black Lodge. Battles still rage throughout the city, but there will be some time before MR Thiel can regroup and challenge our forces with the same intensity. Uh, several positions throughout the city have changed hands numerous times. I believe these are, sites are of particular importance. Okay. I would ask you to journey to these volatile areas and defeat the minions of MR Thiel there. For some of them are sure to carry orders. Okay, so we're going to try and collect orders from fallen enemies. Uh, let's see, where are we going? Okay. So yeah, we'll come out of this. There's a couple along the road to the south. Maybe I'll hook up northwest first, then come back down. Yeah, I wish I did not have a voice that just fell apart after an hour of talking, but... What are you going to do? I thought I did a decent job resting my voice after that, but uh, maybe not. Ooh, all right. Collected orders, recovered from Gwail Band, okay. Is that, no, 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 okay, so let's cut back. Let me pop a lozenge and see if that helps. It'll make me talk weird, but um, I talk weird anyway, so. Uh, let me see, is it better to go back or is it through here and up and around? Come <laughs> on. 
All right. Okay, so this... Okay, so here's another one of the points. Maybe we just haven't discovered them. Maybe that's why... So if I were to wipe these people out, do we take it back? I think I'm gonna go down because I got the wrong order. How do I? That was pretty close. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, so that is still a thing to some degree. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, I mean, for some reason, I remember there were points all over the place. Um. Oh, hey, IGN Kane 54 Thanks for... Thanks for jumping into the stream, for jumping into the chat. I appreciate that... Uh, appreciate that you enjoy the um, streams. Appreciate the follow. Let's hand this quest in. I'm not going to be... If you're just jumping in, I'm not going to be chatting quite as much tonight. I um, Could I speak with you a moment? My throat's a little shot, so we'll see how that goes. Um, Callan Glad has asked you to return to his camp on Tinadir. You should go at once. I will say only this. The information we received can be trusted... Amar Thiel may have made a crucial error. If he sees the opportunity, the Dunedain may once again have the advantage. Black Lodge, Numenos could be returned to us within the week. Wow, that's... That would be... That would be good. So let's head back to Kalingad with all speed. And maybe there's a, um... There's Stable Master here that we can just sort of shortcut this. thought there was. Here we go. I guess they sort of have to swift travel since um, they're having you run through enemy lines and probably jam up the AI too much. Yeah, so in the One Ring adventure, I was running. They were scoping through the ruins of Anuminas. They found like a, a like a lost library in the ruins. They fought through some orcs to get there, or goblins or something. I forget what I had them go against. And then they got jammed up because they had to search the library, but the sound of combat drew too many to deal with. So... They were pulled out by a husband and wife 
ranger team. The wife is an elf, the husband human. And they escape by boat to an island, to a tower in the lake. And I sort of pictured it being there. And I thought that was accurate to the books. So I felt like that was legit to drop into the adventure. I had a little moment there. My intention was for them to then take information they had gleaned in the library and travel again. But they're like, nope, we got to figure out what's going on here in, in Numenos. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Fendeleg was right to send you to me so quickly. One of our rangers, a good man named Torchirian, overheard a number of Angmarms speaking near Adenon, the city gate on the western shore. Uh, they spoke of Mord Rambor, one of the black Numenorians sworn to Amarthiel, a fell sorcerer. Mord Rambor is one of the cruelest lieutenants, and Torchirian knew to listen carefully, uh, closely. Before the Angmara moved beyond the hearing, Torchirian heard them speak of some urgent errand Mord, Mord Rambor plans for tomorrow night. He will travel with a small retinue beneath the light of the moon to ha Hod Elendil. What he hopes to accomplish there he did, Torchirian did not learn, but he learned enough. Okay, so I think we're going to end up going on a... Uh... I was going to say an instanced portion, so let's check this out. The rangers of the north have learned that Mordrambor, a black Numenorian deep in the councils of Amarthiel, is traveling to House Elendil with a small retinue. Hoping to seize Mordrambor, the rangers stage an ambush. How can I be of service? Kellen Glad speaks highly of you, Black Lodge. If we're, still su if we're successful this night, he will speak more highly still. Mordrambor has entered the tomb of Elendil and will surely emerge in a moment with his servants. If we can retain the element of surprise, my brethren and I will be more than a match for him. Present yourself to the Lieutenant of Amarthiel and lure him uh, to this end of the causeway. We will fall upon him and take him prisoner, and then we shall see what this trusted servant of Amarthiel may be able to tell us. Uh, this foe is in no way weak. You will be in danger as you lead Mordrambor to our position, and we will not be able to help you. If we reveal ourselves too soon, all will be lost. Tell him something that will make him curious enough to follow. Perhaps you have found a weapon that can destroy him. We will doubt such a weapon exists, and we will follow you willingly to dispro disprove it. Luck be with you. Okay, we got a little dread going. Why should I not strike thee down, little man? Mordrambor's mocking smile wavers slightly when you tell him you have brought a mighty artifact to the other end of the causeway, and it spells his doom. Uh, but almost immediately returns. I admire thy courage, though it be foolish. I will go with thee to the artifact. Okay, that worked. What artifact hast thou found? There's no trinket that can harm me. Thy silence returns. Use thy tongue while you still can. Where's the artifact? Wolverines! Uh, now, are we doing it? Oh, you are outnumbered, villain. If you try anything, you will die. So be it. Thy time will come soon enough. Soon enough. The shadow must fall. All right. Well done. It looks like we did it. I think I remember what comes next. So, but uh, we'll we'll go with this for now. What can I do for you? Okay, my heart leaps with joy, for we have done what I could never have imagined, taken one of Amarthiel's trusted servants captive. She will feel this loss, Black Lodge, I am certain of it. This may be the advantage we need to push Amarthiel's forces from Anuminas once and for all. It seems my decision was the right one. We are now closer to retaking the city than we've ever been. 
When we have done so, we will take the Palantir from Emarthiel and put an end to the threat of Angmar forever. Okay, let's see what we got. We got shoes, they're medium armor. It's a bit of a bump. That's nice. We lose vitality, though. We lose critical rating. Those are two things that are helpful. We got a weapon that is actually a downgrade from what we currently have. We have pants we can't wear. Uh, brr. I think I'm going to take whatever's the most valuable, even just sell it, which is the pants. How can I be of service? What can I do? Look at that. We dinged 46. Very nice. I can hardly believe our good fortune. Take now these orders to show them to our prisoner. He'll tell us the meaning willingly, or he will be made to tell us their meaning. I do not imagine M.R. Thiel inspires anything other than fear in her lieutenants, and this black Numenorian will certainly tell us what we need to know. Um, okay. My people have prepared a prison for the captive, and Ranger Tadan has volunteered to guard him. Tadan is a good man. Strong man. And we'll see that more Drambor's bonds remain unyielding. Bring the sheaf of papers to more Drambor. Um, and demand is tell. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go meet with them in the... Uh, believe in the keep over here. Whoops. <laughs> so busy shifting around a little bit that I uh, missed. Okay, so I'm not sure. I assume we're going to go there. Like, there's a bunch of branching paths up ahead, so I think we. Try left, although it's not really telling us which way to go. Nope, oh, there we go. I remember thee, foolish warden. I know the number of thy days, and they are few. Let us speak a while, then, for thou wilt soon fall beneath the tread of Angmar. What hast thou brought me? Writings in the black speech, most beautiful of all tongues. Thou canst not read these words. I weep for thy ignorance. Foolish warden, but I will take pity on thee, for thy struggle will soon end in pain and grief. I will tell thee what great Amarthiel plans for the wretches. Who cling still to this lowly city. Show me the pages. Thy numbers are few. Angmars are great. All right. These words sing of thy death and of the deaths of all the Dunedain, foolish warden. The pages tell of Emarthiel's loyal servants to await the return of her emissaries, who have traveled to many lands seeking new allies. The waters of the lake have been as a road for Emarthiel's emissaries, and they carry gold with which to buy loyalty of new servants, cold-hearted men on an island far to the northeast, the uh, Garadane of the northwestern hills, fierce and savage, the Kergrim, great beasts that stalk among the crypts of the long-dead kings. When these servants return from across the great water, such a number of new allies sworn to the Iron Crown will come in their, uh, will come in their train that none shall hope to prevail against them. All right. So I guess we gotta go take out these emissaries before they can uh, complete their mission.
All right. Okay, so we gotta hit that island. We gotta hit somewhere to the east. Is it in a, maybe another? So we got boom, boom. I assume that's the Garudane or whatever. Um, is there more? Maybe not. Okay, well, we can start by hopping a boat to the Eve Spires. Let's try that. I don't know if I've actually ever taken the boats. Oops. They were not part of the original game, I don't think. I think they added them at some point to stop you from having to swim back and forth across the lake. Unless I did it earlier when I was in Evendim and just forgot. But it's definitely not something I've done a lot of. So let's see, we want to go to... What can I do for you? The Eve Spires. you seek to stop my negotiations, you are too late. The Garudane now fight for Emerthiel. To me, my allies. Next up, we'll hit that island. I guess it's right there. See, there's another Twitch streamer doing Lord of the Rings online. When I, I was actually watching him earlier and, and enjoyed his stream a lot, but he definitely gets a lot more people to watch his. I'm, I keep wondering if I should be... Um, again, I, I've said this before. Should I be streaming this on YouTube where we have our followers? I mean, not that we have, like, legions of them, but... Um, we have a few more than we do here on Twitch. Although we have 22 followers. I wonder how many of those were, though, from uh, from Matt's space trucking that um, hopefully he gets back to at some point. I feel like I'm getting some weird lag, like... Or for some reason, my auto run keeps interrupting. I'm not sure which it is. What are the days that they reset the, is it Wednesday mornings? Is that what it is? Maybe it's getting, you know, it's getting near the end of that cycle. Maybe, maybe the server's crunch is starting to feel it. Yeah, I feel like. What chance have you? 
All right, you're too late, fool. Amarthia rewards those who serve her faithfully and well, and such have I done. These men will serve her well when they come to fight in the old city, and I will be rewarded for bringing them. But first, I will destroy you. Men of Rantost, where now do your loyalties lie? some healing going after I basically focused all on bleeds. All right. So now the last thing is the Garud Dane or whatever, and I think they're up in the hills. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't them. It was, uh... Yeah, down here. Okay. What do you think? Do I swim back and get to a boat? Do I cross the island and just... I think I swim back and get to the boat. Hop in the boat, and then I think I can take it basically right to Men Erain. Go from there. I love iced tea so much, but I think it's part of why my voice gets shot to pieces uh, so quickly. So I have to debate what to do in my one ring game. I got a we were basically running the starting adventure, but I sort of padded it out so much that we never got to it. So now I think I need to come up with something on my own. They've sort of told me what they hope to do and what they hope to accomplish and how they hope to accomplish it. But I still have to sort of figure it out. Oh, this is a stable mat. Well, you know what? Let me uh, talk to the bowyer. See if I can sell some stuff. What can I do for you? You know what? I'm gonna equip those. Those are a little bit better. If I can find them, because I'm not losing the vital vitality. That's um, what I'm worried about. I gave up some vitality with other equipment, so I don't want to keep doing that. curious to know what most people do um do they just not pick up the loot or do they just pick up a few things and skip the rest or what there's really no point to any of this on some level i wonder where the uh or the stable master can get me. Oh no, that's probably the, what the boat. 
I guess I wasn't expecting him to be called a stable master. Okay, let's see where we are. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. So too will all who refuse to join with Angmar. Oh, he took these guys out. You will perish. These beasts have no interest in gold. No matter. I will crush you myself. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? Like... It seems like a stupid approach, but... Now hopefully he'll bleed to death and I'll take out his spider friend here. There we go. Alright. Uh, talk to Tadan, who is back there. So let's see if we can make our way back over to the the dock. Service. All right, let's make our way back to the uh, makeshift prison cell, the storage room. See how Tadan is doing. Hmm. Yeah, I was watching the other stream. I was watching. Uh, it's the questing dad. Um, on my normal Twitch account, I gave him a follow and was watching him for a chunk of the day while. Well, I was doing like side stuff at work. Um, I just sort of had him off as the side. I uh, it must be so much fun. Like I, I envy the folks that can um, stream regularly. Like uh, I think Potino Bone or something. And um, and the questing dad, you know, he put together like a really long stream today. It was just it was a lot of fun just to sort of sort of keep it on in the background and you know hear it as it went. Um, I think all these good folks are, you know, way more um, knowledgeable into Lord of the Rings Online. I am um, probably they have multiple alts. I think they're doing like level cap stuff. I, I'm not even close. Right, let's see. You bring both good news and bad, Black Lodge. That the emissaries have been defeated is one worry to put to rest, but I fear the loyalties of the tomb robbers of Rantost and the Garudain. Well, the Garudain didn't bite. Are already purchased. Unless I'm missing something. Or maybe the Garadane were purchased. I, I forget who was to the east. We can count on ourselves. We can count ourselves fortunate that. Oh, the Karagrim. There we go. Have no love for Angmar's gold, but that is no large gain in the face of such great opposition. Oh, man. Kugu Minuil? Kugu Minuil brought me some. Oh, man, these names. Brought me some baked goods and a few choices for dinner. You're welcome to help yourself to some of it. I think she felt badly that I have to spend all my time in the company of this prisoner. I don't like carrot cake, so you'd be doing me a favor by taking that off my hands, but you can help yourself to the rest as well. Uh, oh, I get the carrot cake anyway. I won't, I'll leave in the steaks. I'll take the mashers. Would you do something for me? The prisoner has been smirking about something the whole time you have been gone, and it has me worried. He's feeling sure of himself about something. He keeps muttering something about new attacks upon the city. But whenever I ask him about them, he refuses to talk to me. Perhaps you can get something out of him. He does not seem to be concerned about withholding information from you, Black Lodge. All right, let's see what happens. Now must deliver a message for me. 
or I will tell thee not. Hmm. Thou sayest Emerthiel's emissaries are defeated. I read more in thy eyes than thou hast spoken. Perhaps their duties are already fulfilled, their missions completed. Aye, I read you aright. But smile on, fool man. Against Angmar and its regent, there can be no hope for thee. She plans a new assault upon certain sites within the city, and thy Dunedain friends cannot hope to stand against her. And yet I will tell thee where these assaults will come the hardest. I greatly desire to hear thy weeping and the weeping of this fool ranger when Amarthiel seizes the city in spite of the meager defenses. But I will tell thee where the hammer will fall only if thou dost something for me. An elf has come to this keep. He looked on me for, from afar when this fool ranger brought me to this pathetic prison. This elf is named Lairdin, and I would have thee bring him a message. The message is this. Lairdin, thy time is soon ended, thy mistakes soon accounted. Amarthiel awaits thee in Ered Tiran, where she will sit in judgment over thee. Thou shalt bring him these words, or thou shalt learn naught from me. Okay, so I think he's on the other side of this building. Thought he was over here, but... Maybe not. I'll try there first, and then we'll figure it out. Steal yourself against the words of Mord Rambor, Black Lodge, for he is skilled in the tangling of thoughts as are most of his kind. He will seek to confuse you with artful tricks or trickeries and misleading phrases, and through them lead you only into treachery. Remain alert to his subtleties, and he will be unable to hold any power over you. I've heard his message and ask you now to, head, uh, to heed mine. Do not relax your guard. Even imprisoned, a black Numenorian is a dangerous foe, and he will lead us all to harm if we do not take care to guard against his devices. Return now to your prisoner and tell him that you have fulfilled your side of the bargain. Remember my words. A little hint of what the prisoner is capable of. I wasn't expecting to be able to stream tonight, but for some reason, like, everybody in my family was just flat out exhausted. And, uh, yeah, they went to bed at, like, 8 o'clock. Um, yeah, my daughter's been working hard studying for school, so I, that probably wiped her out a bit. Uh, wife's been slightly under the weather, so maybe that's knocking her out. But, yeah, all of a sudden it was 8 o'clock and everybody's in bed. And I'm like, well, I could go read for hours and hours, but <laughs> who wants to do that? All right, that was a lot of nonsense. Apologies, I hit the wrong button on my stream deck. Um, let me move that a little closer. Uh, let me see. I'm glad to see thee return, my friend, for I know now thou hast delivered my message to Lairdin. What did, what did I hit? I hit be right back. Is that what I did? Yeah. I tried to make, um, I, we used to just put the logo up. I tried to make cards that were a little more like um, informative of what was about to happen. So anyway. Uh, let's see. What did they call this? What did thou call thyself? Um, oh, he says, steal yourself to his words. Remain alert against his subtleties. That's what Lairdin must have told you. What did thou call, call thyself, Black Lodge? I give thee thanks, Black Lodge, for upholding our bargain. I will now do the same. I will tell thee where the next assaults upon the city will come, friend Black Lodge. I will tell thee where lies thy doom. I understand thou hast already seen the sights of Amarthiel's next assault, friend Black Lodge, and their defenders believed in the strength of their defenses. But this time will be different, for Amarthiel has new servants, and thy struggles have come to naught. Hurry now to thy master, to Kalinglad of Tinadir, and tell him where his friends will be slain. 
at the port of Anuminas and the gates of Adenon. Uh, Amarthiel has told me the names of those marked for death, Walnil uh, and Torchirian. Tell Kalinglad they will come no more out of Anuminas. Pay close attention to his grief, friend Black Lodge. I look forward to hearing news of it. All right, let's see what we get. Uh, choose one. What are trade secrets? Get plus two stealth level. Okay. Uh, light armor hat. Medium armor shoulder pads. I think I'm. I think I'm good there. So what's worth the most? Got a seven nine. I'm gonna go with the trade secrets. Or maybe that's what I get when I get to the other side of this. Okay. Yeah, I was debating doing one of two things. I was debating, well, one was just go crash and read for a long time, get through. I was, I've been looking through um, the RPG Hostel Solo, the Hostel RPG, which is by Zozer Games, I think. It's a Cepheus 2D6 engine game. It's a... Uh, I often think of it, I, maybe others describe it, probably others describe it this way as well. It's sort of like Aliens Without the Xenomorph, if you want that kind of gritty industrial sci-fi 80s tech kind of setting um, and there's a solo book for it and I've started sort of doing some work to see about getting it into Foundry there's actually a Cepheus Deluxe rule set for uh, Fantasy Grounds but again it's one of those things if I ever wanted to like run co-op with what Patrick and Matt I think it's better just to have it in Foundry. So to give me that option in the future, if I knew it was never going to be anybody but me, maybe, but anyway, um, but the rule book is, is a little thick because I think it's self-contained. I don't think you need any other books for it. So it's a couple hundred pages. I've been sort of skimming through it. Um, so I was debating, like I could go read for a while. I could do more input into Foundry using the PDF or I could stream for a little bit. So I figured I'd stream for a little bit. What ails you, Black Lodge? You do not look well. Perhaps you should take some rest. The foes arrayed against us are fearful, but we must renew our strength from time to time. You cannot fight such an enemy for so long without rest. What is this news you bring? Mord Rambor has been giving, has given us the locations of Amethyr's next assault on the city. The port of Anuminas and the gate of Adenani as before. What does she hope to accomplish with this renewed assault? Go quickly now to Gwalnil at the docks and Torchirion at Adenon and help them repel the attacks. I'm sorry, Black Lodge. Perhaps you can take this rest when the attack is ended. All right. What's the best way? It's probably the stables. It's not the boats. So yeah, that was that, that was sort of the thing. So yeah, looking to bring in Hostel Solo into Foundry. What do you need? I'm looking to get to a Numinos, so let's do that. And uh, give it a shot. Like, um, it, it does some things that I think could be interesting. Like, you make a whole crew. Uh, and then I think it gives you some tidbits to play them off each other, as does, I think I've mentioned, Across a Thousand Dead Worlds has similar ideas. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Also reading... Oh, man. What was the... Um, is it called Altered Carbon? Was that the show on Netflix? I've been reading the first novel in that series. I've never watched the show. Uh, but I thought the idea of the story sounded really interesting. Um, so I've been giving that a shot. It's been good so far. It's, it's, a, it's an easy read. I, I really enjoy... I um, wish I had the talent to write and make a living at it. Uh, I don't. And when I read other books, like it's not like Altered Carbon is the best written book I've ever encountered in my life. But the prose is just fun and fast and easy enough. And I think when I write, as you can probably tell from how I speak, like it's pretty stiff, I think. It's a little too stiff. 
Because I'm a little too stick at my ass stiff, I guess. So what's the best way? Can I cut through here and get to where I'm going? So I guess I could have been reading that as well. You know, there's also a... um. Oh man, it used to be, there's a, a new, I'm not a huge like anime fan. I don't know if this even qualifies as anime, but there's something on, uh, whoops, let's talk. What can I do for you? It's been quiet since you last were here at Black Lodge. I suspected the, I suspected the Agmarim might be planning a fresh assault, but I've seen no signs of it thus far. Wait, do you see them at the bottom of the hill? Oh Yeah. We must defend Adnan once more, you and I. Uh, the show on Netflix, I think it's got satellite, satellite rain or something like that. It's not that I'm against anime or anything like that. I, you know, I'm not going to like everything that comes out, but there are certain, like, you know, obviously I probably mentioned I love Cowboy Bebop. I love, um, all right, we've defended the position. Nice. Why am I having trouble remembering the other one? It's, um, woman's part cyborg. Uh, Scarlett Johansson played the part in the live action. Um, I can't remember, but uh, let me see what the the show on Netflix is. Is it Satellite? Nope, Satellite Rain is a video game, so what the hell is the show... Scavenger's Reign. Scavenger's Reign is what I was thinking of. Um, now, what was the... Scarlett Johansson. Or is it Johansson? That one was uh, Ghost in the Shell. Man, I'm, I actually feel embarrassed for not remembering that. I love Ghost in the Shell. Anyway, so Scavenger Rain is the one I wanted to... So part of me was like, oh, maybe I just sort of binged that for a little while. But I always feel... Yeah, Ghost in the Shell. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Duck, how's it going? I should feel embarrassed. You're absolutely right. I can't believe I forgot the name of that uh, 2017 ScarJo classic. Scavenger Rain is great. Yeah, I thought you were the one who mentioned it and got it on my radar first. Um, I know you were talking about that, and um, it's a blue samurai. Is that the... I think that's also on Netflix. I was going to check one of those out. But then I was... I always feel stupid, very surreal. Oh, that's cool. I always feel like it's a waste of time watching television by myself when there's so many things I could be doing that are so important. Blue samurai is also great. Yeah, I thought... I thought that you would you were the one that was recommending that, I believe. Or you'd mentioned enjoying it when we've been playing in some RPGs, and so I thought I would check it out. But you gotta take care of yourself, yeah. But I, I just feel like, you know, why not, you know fuck around and play some video games. I don't feel like I get to do enough of that either. Um let's see, I do not see anything, Black Lodge. Are you sure that the prisoner said they were planning a fresh assault of Upon the docks. So, you know, I was mentioning earlier, um, here we go, I must stop them from landing. I was mentioning, you know, the One Ring second edition stuff. Um, so, Duck, I know more about uh, Anuminas 
<laughs> from this video game than I do from the actual books and lore. Uh, let's see. Scavenger Rain was on the inspiration with... Oh, interesting. For Ruthless Heavens. So that's why, like, I wasn't sure. Like, I was trying to describe, a, like, a tower in the middle of the lake. And there's one in this game, which I think Tony might have mentioned, like, he's picturing it from the game. And I was like, I feel like... Why am I not... And I felt like if it was in here, it was probably mentioned somewhere in the text. And so I was like, I'll take a risk. But that's how <laughs> that's how lame I am when it comes to Middle Earth. It's um it's this and uh the ice Murp uh You got a decent picture from yourself. Hopefully I wasn't like describing anything too crazy like the the stuff that i mentioned that you experienced in the tower that was not from the video game obviously um <laughs> if you don't know your yeah uh dave's a tough play if you don't know your lore i do not know my lore <laughs> um but i was still having a good time so i hope uh he was as well they um the details of what you experienced in the adventure were actually like a little side note in the um, in the One Ring Second Edition rulebook. The rulebook doesn't hold candle to the old Middle Earth stuff, but there are little bits in there that you can sort of pull on the thread a little bit and get some lore. Downside to picking a canonical setting. Yeah, you know, I um, absolutely feel that. Uh, as much as I really enjoy this setting, I'm going to fast travel because I don't want to get into seven fights. Um, I love the setting, but I, it's one of those settings that I feel like, how can I be of service? I know I would never know it well enough. Like, I feel like, you know, Dave is in the alcoholic adventure cabal and he's running a, a GURPS rule set, middle earth. Um, he's running thieves of Tharbat and I think he's running it from the original, Iron Crown Enterprises. I'm gonna take the trade secrets. How can I be of service? And you know, when I listen to those sessions, and you can, you know, if you search for podcast, I think you just search for Alcoholics Adventure Cabal, uh, wherever you get podcasts, and it should show up. And he's running, yeah, Middle Earth. Um, yes, he is. Uh, Duck says, yep, he is. Okay. Um, that's one of the modules I've had since childhood. So I was really excited when I started hearing that come up. Okay, do not trust him. We're gonna go talk to Lairdon. And, uh, but yeah, I just feel like I don't know if I could ever know the setting well enough. I would never feel like I could. I always would feel like there's more to ingest. Um, but I, I do confess, I was kind of curious, you know, Alcoholics Adventure Cabal has a little bit of a history with the first edition of the One Ring. And uh, so I was just curious what would happen if it was given another chance. All right, so let's duck over back to the cell. So hopefully everything's going well, Duck. Um, I don't know why, I just assume you have games rolling every night. Uh, yeah, Duck says I'm enjoying it, but still don't like the system very much. That seems to be where everybody's landing with uh, the One Ring 2nd Edition. Um, I'm enjoying it well enough, but I'm not playing, so what What can I... Uh... Ah, okay. Duck's going to take off. His... Thank you for jumping in, Duck. And um... Oh, Coriolis with Ty. That's one I've always wanted to try, so I hope that's a good time. And is he recording that? I don't know if he's recording that. Uh, whoop, wrong way. Had to go to the other side. I think so. Okay. Hopefully he is, and if other people are interested in Coriolis, it's, it's again, just search for Alcoholic Adventure Cabal. There's tons of of uh, actual plays up recorded, like 600 and something, maybe. Tons of different systems. And yeah, I hope I hope Coriolis, uh, Coriolis is getting recorded. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good time. Um... 
curious about the second edition of that, but uh, 746 episodes. <laughs> that's, that's really good. 746 episodes. There you go. If you're looking for more actual play recordings than you have time left to live, jump on over to the Alcoholic Adventure Cabal. What do you need? Uh, let's see. Black Lodge, welcome. I am glad that you have come. You do not seem well, my friend. You cannot defend all of Anumanos yourself, despite Kalinglad's wish that you might. I asked you to come because I want to know if Mordenbror, uh, Mordrambor, has spoken at all of the Palantir to you. He has not. I find it most interesting that he has kept you busy with military matters in the city, while we know that Amarthiel has a Palantir in her possession. My heart tells me that Mordrambor is delaying us for his mistress. Her goal has not changed. See, she seeks Narchuil. Do not be distracted by the errands on which he sends you. Will you bring my words to Dedan, the ranger that guards Mordrambor? Tell him that I will come to see him in a few hours. I want to ensure that he is alert to the danger of his prisoner's whisperings. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of like worm tongue going on with um, our prisoner. Do I have the Numinas? Just pulling out as I sort of run in place against a wall like an idiot. I was just pulling out which uh, Middle Earth modules I, I, I had some. Lost a bunch, you know, again, I keep mentioning this flood because it was a pretty stupid singular event that impacted a lot of my nerdy stuff. Um, and I thought at one point I was trying to track down which middle, uh, which Merp ice module included in Numinos. What can I do for you? I will look forward to Lairdon's visit, Black Lodge. The prisoner is not very good company, and I have seen him giving me unpleasant looks out of the corner of my eye. The air in this room feels so stifling, too. I may see if I can have Forshan or uh, Nithmoon take a shift or two after Lairdon's visit. It will do me good to clear my head and put an end to the prisoner's constant ramblings. He has taken to rattling off the exploits of his fellows, and one of them in particular. I, if I never hear the name Golduchir again... I will be greatly pleased. Goldul cheer will destroy the Amarth. He will soon set him set him to it. Okay. Thy efforts are for naught. Did thou repulse the attacks on thy friends? It matters not, but I admire thine efforts in the face of such overwhelming odds. Thou canst not prevail against Goldul cheer, friend Black Lodge, no matter how strong or wise thou thinkest thyself to be. For Goldul cheer wields Tan Morgul. The defeat of the Dunedain will be complete when he brings its power to bear upon the city. Goldakir has the power to destroy the Dunedain. Wait, what did he, he just said? Goldakir. I'm so I might be okay. So I'm saying the name wrong. It's not Gul, Guldurchir. It's Goldakir. Thou wishes to hear more of Tan Morgul, friend Black Lodge? I thought thou wouldst. It is a relic of ancient Numenor, corrupted through the dark arts of my brethren and gifted to Goldakir for safekeeping. I should have known that was a hard. Like CH was a K. Thou wonderest why he has not brought it to bear upon the city? The reason is simple. Amarthiel forbade him from using it until she had derived as much amusement as she could from the pathetic struggles of the Dunedain. That time draws near. If thou wishest to postpone thine utter defeat, thou wouldst do well to relieve Guldukir of Tan Morgul, and soon his restraint will not last forever. My jailer has something to say. What could that be, Black Lodge? How can I be of service? We have come to it at last, Black Lodge. I can feel it. I have not had an easy time guarding the prisoner, but it will be worthwhile if we can defeat this Goldakir before he is permitted to use Tan Morgul against us. We are in luck, too, because I have fought against Goldakir and know where he is. Shortly after Numenas was taken, a small group of us fought to the uppermost level of the city. There, in a courtyard, full of fell idols and cursed trappings above Ikad Garthadir, we encountered Goldakir. He drove us away and our assault ended in defeat. That court courtyard is called uh, Metal Band. Metal Band. 
If you can fight your way up through the city to Menelband, you might be able to defeat Goldakir and take Tan Morgul from him. The day could be ours. All right, other people getting in on this action as well. Uh, collect Tan Morgul. Okay, let's head out. So the One Ring 2nd Edition game that I keep referring to is on the Alcoholic Adventure Cabal. That's where the game's recordings are up. Uh, I have other recordings up there as well. Uh, coming up, uh, the night of the recording, this is Tuesday at the end of September. Um, the last episode that's going to go up in September is going to be a Bookhouse Boys covering M Space. And uh, I've been running M Space for a while, both with the original rule set and a conversion using Savage Worlds. Those sessions are also up. Where am I going? I'm going way over there. So I need the Stable Master to get to Anuminas. Okay, let's do that. The first Days Vault I ever ran? Uh, no, actually, all the Days Vault I've ever run. I've run two. One was Days Vault Classic, and one was Days Vault England. Those are both up there as well. But there's just tons. There's like. DCC, that's one Duck's running. He's running forgot, uh, Forbidden Lands. Um, Matt, here at Black Lodge, he ran an epic alien campaign. That's up there as well. Um, Greetings. So, there's a lot of really good actual plays over there. Audio only, if that, uh, if that's not your bag. Just a heads up. But, um, yeah. So yeah, let's make our way through Anuminas and see if we can get up to uh, to the top shelf of the city and see what's going on. All right. Okay, so we're going to cut back, and then hopefully it's not too hard to find path north. You know what? I'm going to help these guys out. They're going to bleed to death. I can switch over, get a bleed going on this guy, do some boar's rush. Just to pound out a lot of damage across the board. I think it's just one now, so this is a waste of time, but let's just finish him off that way. Okay, there we go. All right, let's find our way to collect Tan Morgul. I feel like at one point I did research to try and find which book contained a Numenos. Because when I use them in games, I want to own the material myself. Luckily, most of what I'm getting for Numenos, I'm getting from the One Ring 2nd Edition rulebook, but uh, clear that off. So I feel like I go up this way and then I can keep going up. That's what I'm hoping.
Here we go. Guldukir. Signature. Fools, did the ranger send you? You are no more than another band of pawns sent to their doom in my hands. Get a couple bleeds going. Uh, let me get out of this area of effect, I think. Nope. Get a bleed going, and then just focus on heals. Should take care of it. You have defeated Guldakir. Bring ten more ghoul to Mordrambor. I'm sure nothing can go wrong with that. Just to avoid having to fight everybody as I walk back, I'm just going to jump over. Here we go. Yes my, yes, my friend, yes. Untie my bonds and give me the relic you have taken from Guldakir of Tan Morgul, heirloom of the fallen Numenor. Hey, what are you doing? Bring that over here. What do you need? What do you think you're doing, Black Lodge? I do not know what happened to me, but something seems to shake me from a deep slumber. And I saw you about to untie the prisoner. You need to steel yourself against his wiles. Did not Lairjan tell you that? He is treacherous, our prisoner, and we cannot let down our guard for an instant. I will take Tan Morgul and bring it to Kalinglad. I do not think it wise for you to spend too much time in the company of Mordrambor, Black Lodge. Calling you friend all the time? I do not trust him, and neither should you. Let's choose this. Stay a moment. Lairdon came to see me as you said he would, and he told me that much the same, that our prisoner remains dangerous. I did not pay as much attention to these words as I should have, it seems. But I have something to tell you this that this unfortunate business with Tan Morgul drove from my mind until now. Lairdon has learned the location of Amarthiel's Palantir and has devised a scheme by which it might be recovered. He's waiting for you in his room. I do not want to say any more about it while in the presence of the prisoner, but you should talk to Lairdon about this at once. Whoops, just bang the mic. Uh, okay, let's see. Black Lodge, welcome. You look better than when I last saw you. Did you manage to take some rest at last? The time for open fighting is over. Callan Glad is wise and strong, but he's been blinded by his pride. He will not retake Anuminas before Amarthia locates Narchul. Narkul. I guess I should say Narkul. Narquil? Mordrambor is a creature of lies, but in taunting me, I believe he has made a mistake. He said Amarthia waited for me in Arad Tiran. Do you remember? Barad Tehran was where the kings of Anumina sat in judgment and heard the concerns of their people. The histories do not agree on this point, but a number of them record, uh, record that the Palantir of Anumina was kept at Barad Tehran for use of the kings. That Palantir of Anumina is gone, drowned beneath the sea, but surely that is where Amarthiel strives, strives with the Palantir she's recovered. We must assault Barad Tehran and reclaim the Palantir of Black Lodge, but hold. Do not rush to Kalinglad just yet. This Palantir has been bound to the evil of the enemy. The merest touch of it will cause us harm. We need some means to carry it. Goladir has such a means of Gath Forthnir, though it may cause him grief to remember the events of his fall. You must speak with Goldir, Goladir on this matter. Only he can provide us with what we need. Let's see what we're working with. Um... Or if that player character is a few quests behind where you have to bounce back and forth a little bit like I did a short while ago. Hmm. 
I'm not sure where I'm going. So you can see here, like, one of the points has fallen. So if I go there and I clear it out, then I guess we'd get it back, but... I think I have to go back to, uh... Yeah, I have to go back to Angmar. So I've got Mount Gundabad. I don't think this is the one that's going to have... I think Mount Gundabad is like a... Uh, like a dungeon crawl, like a mega dungeon for Middle Earth. So I don't think it's that one. Here we go. Ordereth has been defeated, but only for a time. Still, it is a reprieve. What do you need? Black Lodge, I had not expected to see you again so soon. Why have you come to me? Might I take a moment of your time? You say you've come from Lairdin that he believes I may play a part in reclaiming the Palantir that was taken from Cairn Doom? The Seeing Stone is wholly evil. I see that now, and I wish I had never been made to gaze into it. Mordoreth has paid for his torment of me, but even that will never be enough to sa satisfy his debt. No act of vengeance will bring back my poor, lost Lorneal. Lairdin speaks the truth, even as Mord Mordoreth brought me forth from the gates of Cairn Doom, the hateful images of the Palantir still burned in my mind. I clutched in my hand the black cloth with which the seeing stone was covered when not in use. The terrible events of that day had all but pushed it from my memory, but I remember it now. Hold the palantir only with this finely woven cloth bag, else the stone will seek to show you such things that might bring you to despair. Do not touch the palantir without this bag. I do not wish for you to endure what I was made to endure. Give Laird in my good wishes, but warn him not to underestimate our enemy. He is a good elf and true, but in him alone I have recognized the terrible burden I have borne in the days since Lorneal was lost to me. Something gnaws at my heart, and I fear it will bring him to harm if he does not guard against it. All right. Okay, so it's not Mount Gundabad. Um, you know, just when I was chatting with Duck there for a second. Mentioned how Dave is running with uh, Gurps, Thieves of Tharbad. I have that one. That is definitely not the one that has a Numenas, I don't think. I believe. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think that's the one. I have Bree. But that's not it. These books, if, if I know I've talked about them before. If you if you haven't heard me drone on and on about these Middle Earth supplements, if you love Middle Earth and you don't mind hunting them down, there are no PDFs that you can just go buy a drive through. I believe. I think you have to go find the original books. eBay is a good spot. Where do we want to go? We want to go to Angmar, Forshell, the North Downs, Esteldon. Can we get? Why can I not, uh... Oh, okay, I'll just pay for it. I've got Angmar, uh, Land of the Witch King. I don't know if this is it. Uh, let's see. Details, Northern Misty Mountains, Karn Doom, which we were just talking about. Witch King of Angmar, yeah. So, I mean, this might cover some of the stuff that they actually have here in the game. I should, I should flip through it better. Uh, let's see, I've got... The Rangers of the North. Uh, let's see what this covers. Cradle between the mighty Misty Mountains and the Blue. Uh, Arthedain is home to the faithful and fallen of Numenor. You know, this might, um, it says, renowned seers gather at the royal court in Fornost. Because again, this is well before, this, this game takes place, I think, in the 
in the second age, so it's before the third age. Uh, so Fornos in the game here, you know, in uh, Lotro is, is a ruin, a, a fallen fort occupied by orcs and uh, but they talk about it, is uh, the royal court in Fornos to contemplate the obscure visions of the Palantir. To the east, the witch king of Angmar is poised like a hungry wolf. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This could cover. Let's see. It covers. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Full uh, Four full color maps depicting Fornos, Anuminas, the Shire, and the northern frontier. That's interesting that it covers the Shire. I thought. Um, Oh, no, I guess Bree maybe doesn't cover this. I thought the Bree covered that as well. So this is the one I need to crack open and read about to get more about uh, Illuminas. Uh Let's see. Can we get from Happen here to jokes. Heaven Dim? Yes. If Duck were still here, he would, he would confirm, you know, even more so than I have exposure to them. These Middle Earth supplements are amazing. I have to take a look at this, uh, make this a little, give it a place in my nightstand. And then the last one I have is um, Moria. The second edition One Ring just released Moria, and it's actually it's really impressive. Um, I've sort of given it a skim. I'm just banging everything on my desk, I apologize. Um, it uh, It is really good. And um, it's really thorough. And it sort of, I think, approaches things the way these old supplements for Iron Crown Enterprise used to, where it's giving a lot of flavor to the area. Which is good. Talking to Laredin. Okay, let's head back there. And then they do inter something interesting. Like, you know, especially if like, you've seen the movies. In the first movie, the, the Fellowship stumbles into the tomb inside Moria where they sort of make a stand. It's sort of like they have a uh, cave troll, you know, from John Bean. In that room, I think they find the fallen remains of Balin. And so in the One Ring 2nd Edition, their Moria book, they pre present you with like a, uh, there's a note pinned to Lairdin's door. They present you with a, uh, a solo campaign of sorts, and it is working with Balin trying to go back into Moria. So maybe it would cover what ends up happening to him? I'm not sure. Let's see. Can I read the note? Can I just click on it? Here we go. My friends, too long have I fled from my obligations, but no more. I go now to Barad, uh, Tehran, where I alone will confront Amarthia. I don't know why you got to go. Okay. It is not right that I should send you to wrest the Palantir from her clutches when I am to blame for much of her evil. I will no longer shirk my responsibility. If I succeed, there will be no cause for fear. If I fail, I will have fallen doing what I should have done a long ago. The debt must be paid, and if I perish in its payment, even that would be just. Would that I could see you in person and tell you all the, why I must do this, but I cannot. Out of kindness and friendship, you would seek to dissuade me, and I fear I am not strong enough to maintain my course when confronted with such persuasions. Do not follow me, my friends. There is something. This is something I must do alone. Go talk to, uh, to Don, Taden, however you want to say it. So I feel like we're getting near the end of book 10. Once you get into the, once you get past chapter 10, you, at any point, I feel like you could be getting to the end of it. We're at chapter 13 now. Greetings. What is this? A note from Lairdon? Oh, this is my fault, Black Lodge. How could I have been such a fool? Lairdin offered to watch the prisoner for a time, and I agreed. 
I have not felt well for some time, and I thought some fresh air would do me well. I said as much to you, if you recall. Um, the prisoner must have said something to Lairdon during that time, woven some foul tangle of words. What sad irony for Lairdon to succumb to this treachery when he oft spoke to us of its danger. All has been done according to the will of Emmerthiel. Thou art too late. All has been according to the wishes of Engmar's regent. My jailer is a fool, Black Lodge, but even he is not the fool thou art given to pride and an irresistible desire to do good. And yet, what is good? Thou hast done only what the region of Angmar and I, her greatest servant, desired of thee. It was no accident that brought me here to the tomb of the long-dead Elendil with so few servants. Thou didst not think Amarthiel would needlessly risk the life one so valuable would surely. While I have had thee running errands about the city and on pilgrimage to the far shores of vast Nenuil, she has been gazing into the palantir she retrieved from Karn Doom, willing it to show her that which she seeks. I am greater now than Guldakir, for it was at her suggestion that I told you he bore Tan Morgul. He thought to use it to challenge her for leadership of Angmar. Thou wert a useful pawn in his removal. Amarthiel shall thank thee for it. But now I have completed my greatest task, the task for which she sent me to thee, Black Lodge, the delivery of Lairdin to her at Barad Tiran. She has much in store for the elf, much for which she has waited long. Didst thou think that Lairdin was innocent? Thou art twice the fool then, or thrice so. Run to thy master, Black Lodge, and tell Callan Glad of thy folly. Lairdin will not return from Barad Tiran, or if he does, it will be in a form none shall recognize, wholly twisted and evil. I have but one task remaining to me, and I will relish its execution. Bring Lairdin's note to Kalinglad. All right. I feel like it's worth just running back and forth in this area for the music. How can I be of service? Every decision I have made has gone ill, Black Lodge. My thoughts of victory turned to ash, even as it seemed so near. For Lairdin to pay this price for the mistaken pride of the Dunedain fills me with sorrow. May a thousand curses fall upon the heads of Mordrambor and his fell mistress. Nay, I will not give in to despair, though such things seem darkest. Though things seem darkest. I was about to sneeze. Our prisoner is a creature of lies and deceit, and despite his cruel whisperings, we have won great victories in Anuminas. Can this be a ruse, risen from the desperation of a captive whose plans have not borne the expected fruit? Can it be that Amarthiel's search has gone less well than she hoped, and that Mordrambor seeks now to fill us with despair when none should be? We may be able to save Laird and recover the Palantir as he intended, Black Lodge, though he has left us. Perhaps the Dunedain can repay Laird for his friendship. One last assault on the steps of Barad Turan may get you and your friends within its walls, Black Lodge. We shall see if there is any truth to Mordrambor's words. We shall see if the time has come for you yet to despair, or if our greatest victory is at hand. What do you need? All right. This is like a let's F and go kind of moment. Let's do this. 
Too long have I delayed, hoping to reclaim the city from the forces of Angmar, but I see now that victory in Anuminas will not be complete if Amarthiel learns the location of Narkul. We will have traded victory here for defeat elsewhere. This was the lesson of Laredon, but I did not see it. Speak to me when your allies are ready. Oh, again, I have no friends. And we will launch a final assault upon Barad Turan. If we are successful, you will have access to the inner chamber where one of you must pick up the Palantir and carry it back to the entrance where I will be waiting. If you have the finely woven cloth bag given to you by Goladir, the Palantir should not harm you. Protect the bearer of the Palantir from the attacks of the enemy. Much depends on this Black Lodge, for we will not have another chance. If you see Lairdon within the depths of Barad Tehran, do what you can. But do not endanger yourselves needlessly. The retrieval of the Seeing Stone must come first. It's what he would have wanted. The Eye of Angmar is blinded once more. Okay, let's give it a shot. Are you prepared? I will give the word when you and your allies are ready, and we will storm Barad to Ron with as much force as we can muster. Retrieving the Palantir will be up to you. My men can only pave the way for you. If you can do anything to help Lairdon inside Barad to Ron, I would ask you that you do, but I fear he is lost to us. Here we go. Lairdon, succumbing to the whisperings of Mordrumbor, foolishly seeks to confront Amarthiel at Barad Tiron, where she seeks to use the Palantir to find Narco. The only hope for the free peoples is for the Palantir to be recovered from her grasp. I guess I've said that wrong my whole life. Palantir instead of Palantir. Palantir. Thank you. Almost. Sir Ian McKellen. Okay, let's do this. Again, I'm just doing the David Caruso, hit him with a bleed and walk away, sunglasses up. Combo is a total mess. <laughs> they keep dying before I can pop it off, I guess. Master. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> Can I take this guy? Like, why am I not? Get oh, well, I've got 6,000. I was about to say, why am I not getting any help? Help. Get some defenses going. Shh. Oops. Get some bleeds build up, built up. Get some shields back up, shields up, then we'll go for the slightly more advanced one. Oops, wrong. 
shield mastery. And then you can just add to that the double shield defensive strike, and then I think you got a lot of defense going on there. What are you doing here? Black Lodge, why have you come here? This is not your fight. I need to confront Amarthiel on my own, as I should have done long ago. The time has passed, my friend. If I can hold Amarthiel's attention long enough, you will be able to seize the... Uh, Palantir. We will challenge her together, and perhaps she, then she will realize... She, uh, perhaps she will not realize her peril. When I give you the word... You must seize the Palantir and immediately run to the entrance of Barad Tiran. Do not delay. Bring it to Kalinglad, and perhaps I will be able to set right my errors of old. May the Valar smile upon your endeavor and mind. Black Lodge, let us go. This is like some... This is some good epic shit. You know, I'm just going to say that. Good epic shit. You know, like last stands, you know, self-sacrifices... We're all in. You know, you make the, the run for the escape while I hold them off. I see trees, the trees of wilderness. I have come to finish this. The troll shaws? Narquil is... Mordrambor did his work well. I did not think you would come. Did you not? So Angmar's new re region? Oh, your days are too long already, and they end here. Narkul awaits me within the wilderness. You have come too late. Late, perhaps. One of you, grab the Palantir and bring it to Kalinglad quickly. We will not forget you, Lairdin. We will not forget you. You cannot harm me, Lairdin. You're bum 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 bum. You can see my morale is totally failing. I've gotten out of that room. I've left poor Laird into his fate. But the fate of Middle-earth is bigger than all of us. Etc. Etc. Making a run for it. I cleared this pathway. Hopefully they haven't respawned yet. Can't really attack, so I'm just going to try and blow by them as best I can. Kill the one with the seeing stone. Okay, they might be onto me. There is no escape. Eh. Almost there. Friends, cover my back. There we go. I've delivered the Palantir to Kalingrad. Let's mess this guy up. Strike home. Collected the finely woven cloth bag. We have no time to waste, Black Lodge. I weep for Lairdin, but we must retrieve the Palantir and remove it from Anuminas. Are you ready? Long have the rangers of the north guarded the ruins of Anuminas. When Amarthiel came, they struggled to repel her, and after a bitter battle, managed to recover the Palantir. But victory came with a terrible price. And Amarthil saw something in the Palantir which might lead her to Narquil. These are troubling times. It is not well that Lord Aragorn is no longer among us. What do you need? Book 10, Chapter 14. The victory is bittersweet, my friend. For Lairdin has been taken by the enemy, and we do not have the numbers to stage another assault upon Barad Tehran. I fear that he is lost to us. And although the Palantir is now free of Amarthiel's clutches, it seems she learned at least some of the information she sought. Only time 
now keeps her from reclaiming Narquil, the ring she lost so long ago. I will bring the Palantir to one that will keep it safe. We have done what we could, Black Lodge, but it was not enough. A hundred curses upon the Iron Crown. It has taken so much from us. And for every victory, it deals us a dozen hurts. And yet we fight on. It has always been the way of the Dunedain, and I know it is your way as well, Black Lodge. What else is there to do? We will fight on in Lairdan's name and in the names of all those who have fallen. And one day, Amarthiel will pay for each and every one. I swear it on the bones of my fathers and my father's fathers. We will see it done, Black Lodge. Again, it's just an MMO quest line, but it's... Forgive my... It's so goddamn good. It's just... It just... It's... Yeah, it's just... For my... For my taste, for my vibe, it's, um... Just captures the epic feel I've never quite experienced running around in uh, my time in World of Warcraft. I loved the uh, Age of Conan MMO, but even while that was well done and like it really captured the flavor, uh, yeah, it never, um, never, it never achieved these levels. Uh, Duck just filled me in on Discord that uh, it sounds like the Coriolis game is not being recorded. That's disappointing. Um, has somebody else run Coriolis in advanced uh, Alcoholics Adventure Cabal? I'm not sure. I'll have to dig through the archives, but I don't think that's the case. Anyway. Really good stuff. So what do we got? We've got a bracelet. It's going to boost our vitality. Gives us a little bit of a boost to what we've got. We've got an earring. We've got a ring. That could boost our vitality. We've got a necklace or a pouch of shire dirt. What does this do? Yeah. I think I'm going to go with the ring. So let's see if we can find... Uh, one of our rings does nothing for our... Our vitality. So let's correct that. There we go. We're back up to 1552. It's not amazing. But it's a start. Greetings. Book 11. There we go. Book 10 down. Book 11, Chapter 1. I have a feeling we're going to be going back to the Troll Shaws. Uh, we cannot grieve for Lairdon, Black Lodge. Amarthea will not hesitate to make us use of her newly found knowledge. If only we'd been able to seize the Palantir in time. Her search for Narquil, Narquil may have remained fruitless. Nay. There's little use in dwelling on the past. Take comfort in this, Black Lodge. We know what Amarthiel saw within the depths of the Seeing Stone, for she spoke of it when you and Lairdon entered Barad Tehran. Did she not speak of the wilderness of the Trollshaws? She has revealed to us her next movement, and if we act with haste, we may yet find Narquil before she does. We, not ha we have not the numbers to prevent her servants from leaving Evendim, but we can at least be alerted of their movements. Two of my brethren watch the roads out of Evendim, and they must be told what to expect that Amarthiel may be planning to send her servants by various roads out of Evendim. Evendim. Seek Torar Torogathir at the Evendim Gate, northeast of here, at the pass to the fields of Fornost, and uh, Galthaniel, on a small rise overlooking the Barandolf, far to the south of here and east of the halfling village of Dwali. Tell them what we suspect of Amarthiel's plans. Uh and that they are to send ravens to Tinadir at the first sign of Angmarim's movements. Okay, so we gotta start spreading the word of uh, of what's coming. Okay, so we gotta go here, we gotta go here. I, mean, I think I'm gonna swing south to Dwalling first, and then I'll cut east.
I hope this is the right road. Seems like it gets close, but I'm not sure if there's a better... Oh, I probably could have... Oh, I can hit a boat here and swing down, I guess, maybe. The, uh, the Bookhouse Boys, I, I recorded in my basement because I wanted to do an overhead shot. I've got a couple of cameras down there. A couple of things. One, I was using a GoPro for my stupid, ugly face camera, and um, it looks like ass. And I don't know if I did something wrong, but I, I, I say this on the recording. I've never loved GoPros. So then I was like, do I need to get a second, like, like a cheap couple of versions back like Sony EV1 or something like that but that seems like a total waste of money when I'm supposed to be broke so I'll just make do because I don't know how often I'll have to do it but um, it was really and then I started also using a, uh, a Rode wireless go to I guess I could go to Buckland where's Buckland This is the Dock Master Trader's Wharf, which does not seem to be an option. Let's try and see where it gets us. I feel like it's going to be off. I feel like it's not quite where I want to be, but we'll give it a shot. And that microphone worked pretty decently, but um, I, I had it placed here by my neck, so I might have been, might not have been ideal, maybe a little lower. Would have been better. Um, not sure. And then I got to figure out how to EQ. It was a little noisy. It's a uh, it's a condenser mic, so it was a little more sensitive. I, I have been using here and there uh, a an Earthworth Works Ethos, which is a broadcast and condenser, not nearly as sensitive. Um, here, and I need to get up here. So that I don't know if that really bought me much. Is there? I don't know if that bought me much at all. I think I was closer the last spot. So I just have to, uh, yeah, I got to figure out how to EQ it. Um... And I also have to understand that it's not the same as something like what I'm using now. But what I will say is it did let me do what I was hoping it would do for future bookhouse boys of that nature where you sort of record the books with a top-down camera. And, you know, my other channel, which is Trainwreck Games, where in the past, a long time ago, I used to play some war games on there. And I wanted to get back into that. And um, I will say the wireless mic did give my hands the freedom of movement and the freedom of, of my view to the table that I was hoping for. So that's good. Part of me wondered if I should... Um, At one point I was considering like an overhead shotgun mic that a lot of, you know, some people like when they do YouTube, they put it just out of frame. Uh, but the thing is, I, I feel like I move around too much and I, I, I don't know if it would. And also my head's pointed down, so I didn't know how that would work in the long run. Now, there's a lot of quests to be had in this area. Um sort of blown past them, I guess, in doing just the book quest. But there are, I remember I've killed a bunch of these glowing things. Getting a lot of stutter there. I 
Wouldn't matter now. You can see they're all grayed out. But uh, yeah, there's definitely quests that take you up in this into this area. there. I love the idea of this. I mean, I know it's simply displayed, but sort of when you start filling in the head cannon, the idea of them on a hilltop the edge of Evendim. What do you need? Very evocative, at least for me. Because again, you know, I'm, lo I'm looking at these and I'm, you know, this is the stuff I'm, you know, filling in with my, my head cannon and stuff, so. Thank you for the news, Black Lodge, though it is worrisome. I, I think it unlikely that Amar Thiel would choose to send her warriors to the troll shaws by the road I watch. But I will send a raven to Kalinglad at once if it does come to pass. But I must disagree with Kalinglad's wishes on one matter. If Amarthiel does choose to send her Angmarim south along this road, I will not stand idly by. Though I fall in battle with the enemy, I will keep at least some of Angmarim from passing into the Shire. Nay, do not seek to change my mind. I will not be swayed in this. I will send my raven first, of course. There we go. Keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. I think on a past character, I had shift equals be the horse and now it's control equals okay so now we're going to make our way back up and over let me get this out of out of there again i probably uh, maybe i could have popped in that boat now oh, whatever uh let me yeah let me in a minimum let me unlock that boat and see where it can take me if it can take me back up to the, the king's crossing or whatever that bridge is that's a start Less glassy than the uh, lake at Evendim. I like that it's got sort of that mud to it. A shallower river, it's, you know, got a little grime going on. I like it. Now, this looks like a little bit of an outpost here. I don't know if I've really ever spent much time at this place. League of the Axe. Interesting. I'm just going to talk to him. I don't think I actually want to... The Wildwood of Breland. I am Enid Nesselsting, Nettlesting, the leader of the League of Axe. And who might you be? Have you come to the Trader's Wharf to trade? Or do you think you have what it takes to be a member of the League? We have claimed much of the Wildwood... So has the Woodcutter's Brotherhood, who dwell in a trestle bridge. Where am I? It's kind of cool. I've got a little faction going on here. I like that. I'm not going to engage because I've got other things to take care of. But All right. Let's see if we can uh, sell some things and get out of here.
You know what I'm going to do? I think when I'm done with this, I'm going to lock whatever's left. And then... Well, no, because if I pick up new equipment that I don't want to ditch... I was going to say I could give it a shot just doing the sell all, but... Um, let me start by locking these. What are these? You know what? I'm going to sell... I don't know. I'm going to sell this. sell this. I'll keep these two, but maybe next time I can speed it up a little bit. All right, let's see where we can get from here. Okay, we can make our way down to Buckland. Okay, that's nice. Or we can go back up to King's Crossing or to Tinnity. Let's go all the way. Nope, wrong road. Okay, let's head back. What time? I gotta figure out. What I used to do is, you know, everybody would go to bed. I'd stay up to two in the morning because I start work a little late. And you know, so I don't have to get up in the morning like a normal working person does. But I've started trying to recently, I mean, like very recently, I've started trying to get back to getting some exercise in the morning before I work. I'm not a kid anymore. And I got to tell you, I was starting to get to one of those... You know, like you, you get old and all of a sudden, like if you sleep wrong, you throw your back out. And it wasn't quite at that step, but I was having some moments where I was just like, you know, am I going to, am I going to pull something here from doing this incredibly mundane task? I love how the weather changed. And so, you know, in the past, I was, I used to be really good about, uh, you know, my doctor's like, bro, you got to, you got to drop some weight. You're getting old. You can't just. Just can't roll around to a healthy American late thirties weight. You gotta gotta take some stress off. So I don't know if I'm crazy, but I really enjoy. I feel like I'm pretty close. They must be right here. Okay. How can I be of service? I will take your news to heart, Black Lodge, and send a raven to Cal and Glad. At the first sign of Angmarim leaving Evendim. I have seen not yet, however, it has been unusually quiet. Okay. I'm gonna head back to Kalinglad. Uh yeah, so you know, I started like we have a rowing machine, which actually I really enjoy using if I can have something to watch on TV while I do it. Because all this stuff is boring as shit. But um I will say, uh when I row consistently and I get back into a groove and I can you know go for a while at a I always do it at the highest resistance it's just you know I, I tried to take it easy I was like oh maybe I can just blow it out and start start big but I always do that and I always 
pay for it a little bit. So I'm just like, let me let me ease back into this. And uh, sorry, I just banged the mic. And um, so I want to make sure I can get up early enough to do that. And then I gotta see what the work day is like. Just, you know, when you're a grown up, you realize, you know, I don't know why this is still a thing in 2024, but I actually have like a whole list of phone calls to make. Like work, personal business, stuff like that. But anyway. But yeah, the main thing I just wanna make sure, because it's, it's, uh, it's not like I'm going to get super jacked and whatever, but it's just, you know, it's a lot easier to move around. I'm a lot more flexible just using the rowing machine, even if it's like half an hour a day. Um, yeah, I feel like I, I get like 10, 15 years of mobility, just limberness, you know, flexibility. But I'm also tired of uh, disappointing my doctor, so I'm going to see if I can <laughs> get a lot healthier in the ways he's asking me to. Unlike Ma Matt and Patrick, I'm not a kid anymore, so uh got to start taking some of this stuff seriously. It's not just beet juice, goddammit. I'm always curious what... Uh, oh, he's halted experience. Interesting. Uh, I'm always curious what you get from being here at level 76. But again, maybe he's just doing the book quest, going back and taking care of stuff. What can I do for you? Although, why would you disable experience? None of this stuff's going to do anything for you at that level anyway. But You have my thanks, Black Lodge. I wish we could prevent the Angmarum from leaving Evidim in search of Narquil, but... I know that we do not have the strength of arms to succeed in this. At least we will know when their patrols have set out. I should have expected uh, Gauthaniel to refuse my wish that she not engage the enemy in battle, but I would not have her throw her life away lightly. My heart tells me that if Emmerthiel chooses the long road to the Troll Shahs and passes through uh, the Barandolf, Gauthaniel's sacrifice will do not to forestall the inevitable. Now that we will have warning when the Angmarim begin their search, we must begin our own, Black Lodge. If we are to find Narquil, we must learn everything there is to know about it. The time has come to confront Mordrambor. All right. How can I be of service? Mordrambor has proven an unreliable and dangerous prisoner for us thus far, Black Lodge, but now he will re recompense for his betrayal. He will tell us what he knows of Emmerthiel's lost ring, Narquil, or he will never again see the light of day. He cannot know its location, or his mistress would have had no need for the pal Palantir. Palantir. Uh, but anything he can tell us of its power or history may be of use. I will go with you to speak with uh, the Black Numenorian. He has proven able to ensorcel the minds of others, and we will have better fortune if we confront him together and steel ourselves against this trigger. I think that's how you say it, ensorcel. I feel like I've heard that word once or twice. I have some words for our prisoner concerning the fate of Lairdin as well. Mordrambor will rue the day. He sent the elf to his death. Speak with me when you are ready to go. Let's do this. Are you prepared? Hell yeah. Mordrambor has proven himself an ill house guest, but he may know something of Narquil, which we can put to use. He has not yet seen the wrath of the Dunedain, and I would speak to him of Lairdin's fate. He will tell us what he knows, but you must steel yourself against his sorceries. The time has come. Angered by Mordrambor's treacherous betrayal of Leodan, the ranger Kalinglad is determined to confront the Black Numenorian and learn where Narquil, the ring of Amarquil, resides. He said Narquil, right? Okay. What can I do? Let us meet with Mordrambor, Black Lodge. We have much to say to him, and to hear, I expect. 
We will need to be on our guard. Let us learn from Laredin's folly and our own. Even in captivity, a black Numenorian may cause much trouble. Mordrambor will learn it is unwise to trifle with the Dunedain. Can't tell if my uh, game audio is too loud when the music blasts. Tardan will be pleased to see us. Oh, that's not good. It came from upstairs. It is more Drambor. Black Lodge, come with me. What is happening? Look. Oh, that's not good. I hope thou wouldst see my triumph. I will see thee again and become thy doom. It always seems to happen. <laughs> Call him here. Hold on. Black Lodge, find Tadan. Curse him. Karkamadal, no. Black Lodge. I am sorry. It was Tan Morgul. I kept meaning to bring it to Kalinglad, but... Mordrambor. His sorceries. <laughs> yep. Not Karkabal Tadan. Who is this? This is Kalinglad. What can I do for you? Mordrambor is gone, Black Lodge, and he leaves many of my people dead or dying. It seems that he wove cruel sorceries within the mind of his jailer. How often did Tadan resolve to bring Tan Morgul to me, only to have the matter slip from his memory? It is clear that the relic of evil gave to our prisoner... Uh, that this relic of evil gave to our prisoner some measure of power he sought. Nay, do not blame Tadan for this. Any of us could have done this. It was a dangerous duty. His was a dangerous duty. And he has come now to the end of his service. It's got some, like, 80s music vibe going on. Like, you know, synth... Uh, anyway, weep for him, but do not lay the blame at his feet. It belongs with Angmar and its cruel servants alone. We must repair the damage done to the keep, but there can be no cure for some of these hurts. What do you need? There are no words, Black Lodge, for the evil Mordrambor has done to the city. I thought we had seen the last of, his, of the grief he could cause, but the treachery that sent Laird unwillingly to his doom is as naught compared to the sorrow I feel for the loss of my kindred. Call him near. Karkamadal. Karkamadal. Tadan. Too many lives lost, and in the very heart of this place we hold safest. How could Angmar strike us even here? We cannot search for Narquil now, Black Lodge. Mordrambor has dealt us a fatal strike. Oh, has dealt a fatal strike against my kindred. And we must rest. My people need time to grieve. They cannot fight on forever in the face of such losses. I am sorry. How can I be Again, I, I like that like I like this section of the story beat. You know, they um You know, it's They've uh, struck a blow. They slipped in. They, you know, struck a weak point, and they've uh, they've broken this camp. My people need time to mourn because like, they were like, you know, even when they're elves or dwarves, you know, we're just we're just people. You know, we we're not uh, we're not machines. We can only take so much. Uh, my people need time to mourn Black Lodge, or they will be, un be unable to continue this fight. The greatest weapon Angmar wields in this war is hopelessness. There you go. An overpowering dread that seizes the hearts of good folk and saps their will to stand against evil. It has been brought to bear here on Tinadir with terrible success. I have set my brethren to gathering stones from Anumanas and with which we may construct cairns for our fallen kindred. If you would travel to the great city and help with the collection of these city stones, I know that Tadan, Kalimnir, and Karkamadal would have been honored by your service in their memory. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go back to Anuminas, pick up stones. Uh, 
I'll uh, talk to the stable master to get there. What do you need? Uh, I'm just going to go to Vanilla Unuminas. Now, do I collect the stones? No. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Again, David Caruso walk away while the explosion goes on because I can just bleed them to death. Again, I know this is just a collectathon of a quest, but the context of it adds a lot of somberness, you know, doing this one last thing for the fallen. Again, just they managed to make these quests through context feel so much bigger than just fetch eight stones for a book quest. I got six. Okay. Are there any more down here? There's our seventh city stone. Now we should be able to get one more just outside these gates. I think these are friendlies. Okay, again, I'm going to cheap out here, use a mithril coin. Because otherwise we would have to ride back through the city to find a stable master and then which is fine, but alright. Greetings. This will do nicely, Black Lodge, and I thank you for the gesture. There is still no word from Toro Gathir or Gauthaniel. 
It seems that Armathiel has too been delayed in the beginning of her search, or she busies herself with the celebrating of the escape of Mordrambor and the deaths of my people. We will have our vengeance upon them both, but the time of its coming arrives too slowly. What do you need? Okay, chapter four. It's time, Black Lodge. There is a place not far from here which Karkamadal was particularly fond in life. Barad Rath, an overlook crowned in ruins high above Lake Nanuil. That the tomb robbers have made frequent use of it was a sorrow to her. We have decided to build the Karns for our fallen kindred at its crest. Will you join us in remembering our fallen and add a stone to their Karns? Speak with me when you are ready and we will depart. We will travel now to Barad Roth to remember the fallen if you are ready. Too many of the Dunedain have fallen to the ravages of one who is their distant kinsman. There is a time for mourning, but is this that time when the champion of Angmar might secure her ring, Narhuil? Greetings. The air is chill, and my heart is heavy with sorrow. All battles bring grief in their train, but beyond the veil of sadness lies the hope of victory. Black Lodge, it's time. What news of the tomb robbers? We have driven them from this place and they will not return. Black Lodge, I have a request for you. We go now to build Carns over our fallen kinsmen, Dunedain all. I want you to place the capstone on each of the Carns, Black Lodge. That's I feel like that would be an honor, right? I know that you are of mankind and no Dunedain, but... I feel that this is right. Our people must stand together, even in grief. My friends, we have come to Barad Rath in sorrow for the loss of three of our own. Their names will always be remembered, Tadan, Kalamnir, and Karkamadal. Forchan, Forkan, if you will begin. I knew Karkamadal for many years before we came to Evendim. She spoke often of Anumanas. Oops, sorry, I just banged my mic. I wish she could have seen it retaken. I did not have the opportunity to know Karkamadal very well. I curse Angmar for depriving me of it. Black Lodge, if you would, place the final stone on Karkamadal's Karkamadal's Karn. Our losses have been severe, our pain great. But the Dunedain fight on. Astuil, if you please. You could always count on Kolhemnir for a laugh, no matter the situation. I remember once I was cleaning a vase, it slipped from my fingers and shattered. Kolhemnir wanted to bury the pieces, so I would have an ancient relic to dig up days hence. He laughed and laughed. Columnir was quick to laugh, but he knew the importance of strength. We will avenge you, my friend. Angmar will fear the wrath of the Dunedain. Black Lodge, the capstone for Columnir's Karn, please.
There will always be losses in war. And yet there is one among us who can put an end to our long sorrow. The line of kings remains unbroken, and with that knowledge, our fallen kin will be at peace. Kuguminuil, I'm sorry. <laughs> no words of mine can do justice to Tadan's memory, and for that I am sorry. He volunteered always for the thankless tasks with no thought of himself. The world would be poorer without him in it. Be at peace, my brother. The capstone for Dedan's Karn is all that remains, Black Lodge. Wait, look there. What is that? A bird, a messenger, raven. This is Fleetwing, the raven of Torgethir. Amathir's forces are marching through the Evendim Gate. It has begun. How can I be of service? Torogathir has done as he said he would, for this is his raven, Fleetwing. Amathir's troops are leaving this land by the Evendim Gate. We must depart this place, Black Lodge. I thank you for attending my my people and for your part in the remembrance of our fallen kin. How can I be of service? Let us leave Barad Wraith, Wrath, Black Lodge. I hope one day to return here to the Karns of Tadan, Karkamadal, and Kolomnir, and share with them the news of our victory over Angmar and its treacherous regent. So, if you don't have any, I don't know of any MMO, I haven't played a ton, but where like the main story would take a pause for a memorial service like that. There's a lot of touching moments that I remember scattered through the earlier parts of the book quest that I just did not expect to encounter in an MMO. That was one of them. Greetings. I thank you again, Black Lodge. You did not know Tadan for long, but he was a good man, and I know he appreciated your visits, despite the dangerous tenor of the duty in which you found him. I do not blame him for what happened, and I ask that you do not as well. Mordrambor has ensnared folk far greater than you or I. I feel that I feel that my people will be able to fight once again with renewed determination. We will not forget what Mordrambor and Amarthiel have done, but neither shall we wallow in our grief. Our vengeance, when it comes, shall be magnified tenfold by our losses, and they will regret their misdeeds. Yeah, it's just like a really nicely done, sort of beautiful little moment that the game, you know, stops everything, just, you know, tells this narrative moment that's important. And uh, takes the time to do so. I appreciate that. Hmm. I had hoped we would learn something of Narquil that we might that might aid us in finding it before the Angmarim, but that hope, like so many others, has been dashed. We have been delayed by Mordrambor and must now follow Amarthiel's forces eastward, where I had hoped to stay before them. No matter, there are many tall hills between here and the wilderness of the Troll Shaws, and if we must follow, we will do so knowing what to expect. You should leave Evendim heading east and pass through the fields of Fornost. A short distance northeast of Trestlebridge stands the great... Oh, a short distance from northeast of Trestlebridge stands a great hill of Amon Wraith. I think I've been there. Stand at its peak and look eastward. And if you see the Angmarum ahead of you, continue to Amos, Amon Sul, which is called Weathertop by many in the Lone Lands, and do the same. Look eastward from its summit. I am worried that the Angmarum may attack villages along the way, by scouting their position from the heights, you will be able to learn of their progress and follow them wherever they are headed. All right. So find the summit of on Amon Rath. Uh, so I feel like that's... Uh, yeah, 
that's where, that's where I thought was that I'm on wrath. Can I get there by horseback? Or can I get to Trestle Bridge and then over? What can I do for you? Let's see, the North Downs, Esteldon, Trestle Bridge. Let's head there. Oh, was that not fast travel? Oh, whatever. Okay, cool. If it's not, if it doesn't fast travel, what I'll do is I'll interrupt the the ride at the uh, intersection and then uh, take it over from there. But yeah, that that little funeral service. Um, there's a couple of moments like that I can remember. I can remember that one. I remember something that takes place in Rivendell that we haven't gotten to yet. It's just like this sort of this story beat that's uh, not pounding the action forward. That just gives you a moment to breathe. Let you just completely soak in the atmosphere, which is such a strength of this game over just about any MMO I've encountered. I just picked up, um, I guess... Maybe next month, October, they're releasing, I don't know if it's an update or an expansion or an overhaul to New World, which is another MMO. And I sort of, you know, a lot of videos popped up because they were sort of doing a push for their Iternum expansion or overhaul or whatever. And a lot of people kept talking about how it's like, oh yeah, it's got this really good story. And so I, in a moment of weakness, I, I picked it up thinking, oh, maybe I'll check out that story at some point. But I just don't know how it could possibly have the weight of the book quests in Middle-earth. I almost would rather... I mean, I should give it a shot at some point, but um, even replaying these book quests for, like, the third time uh, never gets old. Even if I don't remember every single beat. Although, I wonder if people... When they're doing... When they're doing alts... I assume there must be just like tricks of the trade to just burn through to level 150 or do you just buy it at this point? I guess they probably sell items to level you up all the way if you want it. But if people are leveling alts, I assume they you know would level an alt because they want to, you know, because they find playing the game fun at some level. So I want to get down to this intersection and instead of going down to Trestle Bridge, I'll interrupt it there. But I wonder, do they even bother with the book quests, or is it too slow? Do you just grab all the other quests, kill 15 wolves, hand in the skins, and get the XP? Because I will say, as much as I enjoy the book quests, and clearly I really do, this whole this whole run is purely focusing on book quests um, as much as possible. Because it's at the expense of everything else, you end up not spending you. I end up not spending as much time in certain areas that I really enjoy as I might if I were just sort of doing whatever. So I think we're getting a hint of if it stops. It's either that hill. Whoops! It's either that hilltop. I keep doing that. That hilltop, or there's ruins to our. It might be that hilltop. If you, the camera stops jumping around it's right there. One of those two hilltops. I think it's this one though. Is what we're looking for to do our looking to the east. Um, no, this one seems too close to the. So maybe it's the other one. I just got to remember how to get off the horse. Dismount. There we go.
Oh, nice. I see Potino Bowen's on. I always feel like I should figure out a way to just put their zone in the background. Maybe not listen to it because that might be a little too distracting, but uh, I don't know. Just see what he's up to. See what the other streamers are up to. Okay, here we go. Far to the east, a cloud of dust marks the passage of the Angmarim. Time to go to Weathertop. Oh, wait, is there a... Uh... I thought there was a... Yeah, there's a stable here. Where is it? There we go. Again, I love that they're going to send us back to Weathertop. Greetings. Uh, Trestle Bridge or Esteldon? Let's go to Trestle Bridge. You know, we get, um, it's, it's tricky. I live in a, you know, my family lives in a town that has really, really high taxes, like really high. And, um, you know, part of the reason why you, you pick a town when you have kids is you're trying to sort of cherry pick school districts. And, you know, you sort of make the, you make the, um, sacrifice. You understand that, you know, the high taxes, there's a, there's a point to it. But, um, you know, like I know some people, I, I didn't mind how they handled COVID. Uh, some people were really unhappy how we were, we were slower to get back to a hundred percent in-person classes. We were hybrid for a while longer than others in our area. And, you know, like, you know, who, who knew what the right thing to do was? So the fact that they erred on the side of caution, I was, you know, I was happy with. Uh, but then, like, just, like, a lot of things have happened in the meantime that you're just like, oh, my goodness, this feels like things are a little off the rails. And then an, an email just came through about how, like, negotiations with the teachers' union have totally stalled and I was just trying to skim it to see if like a strike was in it. Like, I don't even know. It's, it just feels like can you? you can't get quite on track with this the school district. Like it never feels like we're in like a, a smooth era. Let's see. We want to go to West Bree. I think we want to go back to, yeah, let's go to West Bree. I don't know if that was fast travel or not. It's just a straight shot down the road so I can see a world where it's not. So anyway, so sorry, that's why I was looking down for a second because we just got an email saying like they're at an impasse and the union is talking about how they, they just won't budge any further and I don't know. Like, what happens if, like, uh, I've never really experienced it. What happens if, if teachers go on strike? I don't know. Maybe everybody's school district is like that, and, you know, I'm just, this is what I experience firsthand, and it feels like it's never-ending, but, um... And it's not like I don't blame teachers union. I don't blame, you know, it's just like, you know, we all got to, we all got to do what we can. But, um, 
it's just as like as a whole uh, at some point just you just wish like you could feel like the district was sort of like a well-oiled machine for a little while but maybe none of them are maybe that's that's wishful thinking anyway Not sure why they send that email out at 11 o'clock at night, but maybe the, maybe everything just fell apart. Maybe this is just as soon as they heard. What are we up to? We're up to book 11, chapter 5. Still volume 1. I wonder... I should have Googled this at some point. Not, like, for spoilers, but just general, like... How long is volume 1? Let's see, we want to go to uh, the other side of town, but is there somewhere else we can go? The North Downs, no. Michael Delton, no, this is the wrong direction. Erd the Wind, not quite. Breland, we want to go to South Bree, that's a start. Adso's camp is back towards the Shire, so that's the wrong direction. Okay, let's see where we can get from here. Can we get to Westbury, Combe, the homesteads? I was hoping we could get to the last, uh, whatever the, the Forsaken Inn. Oscaruth, that's pretty. Let's go to the Forsaken. No, no, no. Let's go to Oscaruth because that's swift travel. Oh, it looks like Patine, Potino Bones doing a, a burglar on the uh, Angmar um, legacy server. That's pretty cool. I, I have a burglar. It's like in the level in the 50s. Might be on this server. I don't know where I am in the book quest, though, but it, I wonder if I could just seamlessly take over with that one and play that for a while. Uh, find the summit at Weathertop. Here we go. Weathertop is... I overshoot it by Ooh, that's quite a bit. Let me let me get over to the Forsaken Inn. Well met.
So yeah, Duck was in the chat earlier. He's talking about Coriolis. Um, I need to. I, I've got the books. I've got a bunch of the settings. I've got a bunch of stuff. I think that they made for Foundry. Curious about the second edition. I don't know if the Kickstarter has the Kickstarter happened yet. I'm not sure. If it has, I probably jumped on it. But I also need to start scaling back everything I jump on because um, gotta pay college bills. Kind of interesting. There's um. So far, I've been okay, but I know I've talked about this on one stream. My company's undergoing some staff reductions. Somewhat significant, I guess. I'm not officially staff, so I never know quite how it's going to work. But tomorrow, I've heard rumors. Um, might be the final round for this, this wave. Who knows? So hopefully... It's stupid. I was going to say hopefully everybody ends up okay, but obviously everybody won't. So, who knows? Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll get wrecked this time. Ugh. Oh well. Someday. I hope that the world figures out how to do business without being assholes. And I think that's a pipe dream, and I get it. It doesn't take an advanced economist to understand that when your mandate is perpetual growth, that's a stupid goal to pursue. Case in point, you're playing video games. Um, Annapurna Interactive is an indie game publisher. I was listening to an interview on Remap Radio with Jason Schreier, who's a reporter. He covers video games for Bloomberg News. He's probably one of the better known reporters and uh, during that interview they were talking about Annapurna and how the Annapurna Interactive Division has always been profitable but it has to be not just profitable but it has to be more profitable every year and it's just like geez like seems like such a myopic view of the world, but that's how stockholders work. And then, you know, he's he's writing a book. I think I'm on the wrong side of the... I'll just break my legs. Um, and then Jason Schreier is about to release a book next month about the rise and fall of Blizzard Entertainment that does, you know, World of Warcraft, you know, a competitor to Lord of the Rings Online. And, you know, how when they got bought out by Activision, Activision couldn't handle how Blizzard made money. Um, I think I'm screwing this up. Breaking legs. Getting stuck. Might be trying to just sort of there we go there's the path so hopefully i can get down there without dying 
good enough. Um, yeah, and so the way Blizzard made money is, you know, they would have subscriptions from WoW, they would have sales of past games. So they would say, hmm, <laughs> on an off year, this is, you know, the numbers that Jason Schreier was throwing, on an off year, they would have 350, say, million dollars of profit. But in a year they released a game, like a Diablo 3, they might have a billion dollars of profit. And so... Activision Blizzard, Activision would be like, you know, why can't you make that like a billion every year? Why can't you, you know, whore out all your properties and uh, kill the golden gooses and just, uh, why am I not? And it's just at some point, it's just like, what are we doing? And the reason why you do that is because of stockholders. And it makes me, not that I would ever be in a position to sell out a company, but I, I just, part of me just would never want to go public with a company. If I owned the company, it would make me probably, assuming, you know, it's going to be successful, it'd make me rich. But at the expense of just shitting on... everything. So let's look to the east. Far to the east, a company of Angmarim crosses the last bridge. Oh my goodness. Okay, where's Alf Alflank? Uh, you have followed the company of Angmarim eastward and they have reached the last bridge before you. You should travel to the last bridge and speak uh, with the scout posted there for news of the Angmarim. Okay. Now we can get to the last bridge you know what? We can get to the last bridge from, I think... Anyway. Because that's what happens, right? Like, I would cash out. You know, I built a company, and then... That's my, my payday. You know, I sell it. And then... I'm set. But everybody else is going to potentially get hosed. And you're just like, okay. A lot of companies chase Netflix. Netflix was never, in my opinion, in the business of being immediately profitable. What they were in the business of was maybe using VC money, venture capitalist money to raise enough funds to undercut the competition, get them chasing after Netflix models. I don't, maybe, maybe it was that drastic. Maybe if you hadn't chased after the Netflix model, maybe those companies would have just been wiped off the map quick. I, I don't know. I'm not smart enough to figure any of this out, but it just it seems like there's been a lot of economic damage done to people. And I think it's becoming more and more obvious that CEOs might not have any idea what they're actually doing. Intel laying off 15,000 people. You know, it's just like at some point, it's like, what in the absolute fuck are you doing? Let's see, where are we trying to go? I guess we can go to Oscar Ruth, and then from there we'll go to... I don't know. Tech, gaming... Entertainment. Granted, they're all 
on some level luxury goods, so I get it. I think, you know, but woof. At one point, I felt those industries worked on some level. Anyway, enough about that. Luckily, <laughs> just notice there's no actual viewers now. Hopefully it doesn't annoy people too much when this uh, archive goes up on YouTube. Let's see, so yeah, we're gonna get to the last bridge. If I were recording this earlier in the day, I'd probably shoot for a four hour plus stream. But Given the time, let's. Uh, I'll have to start thinking about when to when when a good stopping point would be. It's kind of cool, you know. Like, I, I really envy. Maybe I shouldn't envy. I mean, I've got a lot, you know everybody's got stuff going on, but they're the folks that can have like a dedicated slot to always because that's always what they say that that's the trick, right? You know, got to show up at the exact same time all the time, and you do your specific thing. And, um, and I can't do that, but you know, like, but it's always good. Like, you know, cause I'll always pop in for a few minutes with Poutine or Bowen streams. Now that I've sort of followed, um, the questing dad, you know, I'll check in on his, I just saw there's a, a streamer Tux Ramos who's doing Lotro on Linux, um, may contain ROP spoilers. I confess, actually, I don't know what that means. But it's just cool, like this guy is doing on Linux. I'm, I'm very tempted with that. To see what that's like. Um, again, not that I need to do this for 200 people. Uh, a lot of where this gets viewed is on the archive on YouTube. But I feel like if I'm going to do it and I have the time, you know, if somebody wants to jump in for a little bit, why not? It's like co-oping in a Souls game. You know, hey, if somebody's there and they want to do it, and I can give them the chance, yeah, let's have some fun. Yeah, let's go to the last bridge. We'll do a swift travel so you can not listen to me drone on and on so much. I can't tell if my voice is sort of stabilized or if it's just given up on getting worse. And it's just what it is. It just... Did I never come to the last bridge before? Maybe not. Okay. The deed bestowed is explore the troll shaws, I guess. Okay. Is this even worth doing? Yeah, I was about to say, this must be grayed out by now. Okay. What do you know? Book 11, Chapter 5, Eastward Passage. You were seeking the Angmarum that passed this way not long ago. I saw them coming from a great distance and managed to hide myself before they arrived. I feared I'd be found, for at the head of their number marched a man of great evil, a black Numenorian. If I do not miss my guess. It seemed to me that he stared right at my hiding place, but just at that moment he was interrupted by some thought that caused him to turn and gaze off into the distance to the west. I know not what it was, but he shortly resumed his march, and the company passed into the east. Your face... Oh, maybe it was me sort of scouting him. Maybe he, uh... 
Nice, uh, good free. Thank you for jumping into the chat. Hope you're doing all right. Um, your face tells me that you have been had. To, maybe it was me scouting him. Maybe I, I. Maybe he could sense my presence, seeing him, and uh, wanted to. Uh, got to, maybe that was the distraction because I was off into the west. Uh, your face tells me that you have dealings with the man, and the memory of is full of sorrow. From what I had overheard, it seemed their course lay to the south among the cheerless lands of Tal Brunin. My sister Kalendeth, uh, Candeleth, has a camp in Tal Bruinen. To reach it, follow the road east of here until you are nearly within sight of the Bruinen, and you will come to a dirt path that winds southward, with the Bruinen on your left and a tall rock face on your right. Stay on the path even as it crosses streams and winds through the underbrush, and you will surely come across one of the Candleth scouts who can guide you to her camp. Tell Candleth of the Angmarim that have come to the lands of her watch. Tell her as well to be wary. I fear to think what Aaron could have brought this black Numenorean so near to Imladris. It's a good point. You've got Angmarim now sort of stomping around. Uh... Have I been there before? Can I fast travel? Uh, candle. I haven't been there, so I'm just gonna pay for it. Cheap out a little bit. I think I've said this before. For the longest time, the troll shaj would crash, so you couldn't really quest here. I don't know if it was a memory leak or something. It's obviously been fixed, but um, I remember once it was fixed. Going like, oh, I can finally check out the troll shaws, and I, I enjoyed questing here. But for a while, I, I think I can remember the time when you couldn't really quest here at all. So, how can I be of service? All right. So I'm gonna, I have a feeling these quests, yeah, they're not really just about over leveled for them. What do you need? Okay, before I go too much further, let me, let me at least swap that ring out. Get some vitality back. Is there aught which you need? I think I can just sell all. Let me do that. Here we go. A little faster. Welcome to Ikad Kandaleth, this small refuge in the hills of Tal Bruinen. It's the river, I think, right? How can I be of service? You bring warning from my sister that the Angmarim have come to Tal Bruinen? Her warning is welcome, but my scouts have already encountered the enemy. Did you know? Sorry, do you know why they have come to this place? Can you tell me what brings them to these woods so far from their evil homeland? Mind my words, traveler. Your story fills me with concern, Black Lodge. Tal Bruinen is a dark and wooded land, and the, this ring for which Amarthiel seeks could be anywhere. If the Angmarim have some guidance to its location that we do not, I can see little chance that we will find it first. My scouts tell me that the Angmarim seem particularly interested in the small ruins that dot the landscape of Tal Bruinen. If you could journey to some of these ruins and defeat the searching Angmarim, I will contemplate upon possible places where a ring such as Narquil could have been lost. I fear this errand may be hopeless, Black Lodge, but perhaps Narquil, if it is within these wooded lands at all, will evade the Angmarim as well. Okay, uh, let's give it a shot. So I remember 
enjoying this section of the story, like the story itself. I remember though, navigating around this area to be tricky because it's so steep cliff faces and drastic altitude changes. Um, oh, some of these guys are still... if I can. Even like this little thing, like where the, where the hell's the road? Is it like down below? And I actually needed to go up and around. You know, this is, this is what I was talking about. Um, I find it a little personally tricky to navigate, which is something I always have issues with in Lord of the Rings Online when three dimensions really come into play. You know, the idea you gotta go north to go south because it hooks around and just I mean you learn that stuff eventually but until you do you get slowed down so like my also my fears I think I have to get up over there so let me see if I can tackle that yellow circle first to the south or west, whatever. I almost wish I was one level higher just so all these green things would ignore me. Because I think green means the next level up they'd be gray and they wouldn't bother me. Ooh, here we go. Okay, what are we looking at? Are we looking at normal? Okay, they're not... This one's a signature. Okay, let's get some bleeds going. Do a little healing just to keep ahead of it. I assume this yellow, this patch is cleared. Okay, so now because the words Tau Brunin are in the way, it's hard for me to tell. She can't zoom in on the map how to get to the north. It's so, it's so, I don't, I don't want to seem petty. It's just these little things that I wish they could get. Whatever that graphics patch, that UI overall, whatever that stuff was, I wish they could do it. Because... Just little things they, I wish they could tweak. Like, I, I feel like... The map just needs a little bit of work. Nope. 
hope that's not good. Okay, let's check the map. So yeah, this is um could I keep so the the river ends there at a dead end, so that's not where I want to go. There's something just right there, but it's gonna be up high, so maybe I can snake around this way. So I gotta make sure I stay on this side because if they knock me back, I don't wanna get blown off of that ledge. So I've managed to get some altitude here, so I don't know if this is uh, where I'm trying to go. Here we go. Else we looking? Um, hmm.
Yeah, can I get up this hill to my left? Because I have a feeling it seems like the type of place they might be, but I'm not sure. Here we go. Now, I hope you'll forgive me. I'm definitely going to use mithril coins to fast travel around here because it's too nebulous on how to get around. There's that. Let's drop this guy. Let the bleeds do their work. We got him. Nice. Okay. Let's see. What is this? Book six. Mega All right. Let's see what we got. We got a blade that again. Is, I wonder if this is sort of like cap until you can get to uh, legendary weapons. This cloak's way better. Uh, same armor, but a lot more bonuses. What about the shield? Shield's a step down. So I think I'm going to take the cloak. Might you spare a moment of your time? And uh, see if I can find it in my... Here we go. Is this it? Okay. Certain places within the woods and crags of Tal Bruinen have an unsavory air. The few travelers that pass by them oft report an unsettled feeling, a troubling disquiet. This in itself is not unusual, for the land remembers many things that we have forgotten and makes such memories known to us that we recognize them not. But to learn that such a relic of evil as the ring by which the champion of Angmar knew her greatest strength could be hidden within these woods... It could explain much. Look to the southeast. Do you see the stonework within the narrow pass through the rocks? That place is called Desolade, and it is a ruin of which I know little. Of elven make it is, but the air is heavy all about it. Look for uh, Mule Deer by the narrow pass to Desolade, and he will tell you if he has seen anything of note. The other site I have in mind is Aaron Singor, a den of the troll... Uh, wood trolls in the northwest of Tal Bruinen. The creatures grow from saplings in that wooded and watery grove, and uh, and it is therefore rarely troubled by outsiders. Might Narquil lie within the ready beds or buried in the mud of Aaron Singor, uh, or or the depths of uh, Bear Thekir beneath it? Therkir beneath it. One of my scouts, Lavanthir has studied the ways of the wood trolls, look for him outside the entrance to Aaron Singor. When uh, Mwildir and Lavanthir have given you what they what aid they can, return to me with Narquil, or with any information about its location which you have learned, and we can decide our next course. All right, where do they want to send us? One's right below, if we could just fall off the mountain without dying. The other's actually not that far, um, if we follow the river to... You know, we could again go hook around and down to the river base and follow it. I guess that could be another option. But um, what are we looking at? We got three and a half hours. That's uh, that's a solid run. Uh, we got through book ten. We got a decent chunk through book eleven. I'm s again, I can sort of remember the story beats that are coming. I just don't know what book they fall into. But uh, that's what we'll do. We'll pick this up next time. Uh, continue the quest for the lost ring. And uh, to get our vengeance against those that attacked our friends in Evendim. Um, so yeah, this has been Black Lodge Trivia Night. I'm Art. I've, again, I'm doing a run here through the book quest of Lord of the Rings Online. Also, I've got a run going through of the Elden Ring DLC going on. Uh, that's over on YouTube. This will be archived up in YouTube. Um... If you're watching this archive, then you've already found our channel. Like and subscribe if this stuff is is your is your deal. 
Uh, mostly we're a tabletop RPG podcast. Uh, we do actual plays. We get something up most Fridays. We try and be pretty consistent. Um, if you prefer audio versions of that kind of stuff, just search for Black Lodge Trivia Night wherever you get your podcasts. We should show up. Uh, if you want to jump into our Discord and discuss CRPGs, but mainly tabletop RPGs, um, that link should be on, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, that should be on the channel's page. But maybe, I, I don't know, I just maybe I should put it in the show notes. Who knows? Uh, but again, yeah, I appreciate it regardless if you've checked this out. You know, we appreciate every one of you that, you know, leave comments, that like, subscribe, that jump into the chats. You know, thanks for Duck. And thanks to Duck for jumping in tonight. And uh, yeah, take care and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a good night.